Okay, so basically, as you probably know, I went to uni. Uh, I've gone back to uni, and on Monday, uni started again. It is now Thursday, and as you can see, I haven't signed in for five days. Um, so I have got very few clips recently, and I feel like I'm not going to get any more for a bit. So I'm going to change the upload schedule from being every three days to every five days, so that hopefully I can keep the schedule going. Right, uh, so what I'm going to do is, I was actually keeping these in my bank just in case I ever got more Maker Barrows tabs uh, clues. But since I just use the spell book, I don't really actually need to make Barrows tabs and the, the rarity that of that of that actual step means that I can't be bothered just to keep these in the bank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually gonna make Draenor Mana ones. And this is because when they buffed Limpwit Roots that you get, pardon me, more than three in a patch, they also changed how uh, Belladonna works, or Cave Nightshade. And th this is useful because that can be used to make a potion uh, that coconuts and uh, poison ivy berries. And since they buffed bushes, poison ivy berries are easier to get. Since they buffed Belladonna, that's easier to get, and coconuts you just get. Uh, and I think Zora drops them as well, so you'll end up with plenty of those. So I think it might actually be worth farming them now. Uh, because you get more than three, and you get, I think it's 175 per uh, herbal XP, that is. Right, so yeah, this is where it teleports you, like right outside the front door, and the patch is right here. So, this, is, oh, I stopped moving, lag. Yeah, this is a whole lot quicker than coming from Drainer. I'm not sure what's going on here, but the animation's not working. Look. Is it gonna, is it gonna start working now? Oh, fine. Okay, who's on me? Let's see if it'll see if it'll happen. Like it mines it, and I get the thing, and then it just my guy just stands there. Hey, right, look. Only they keep mining, and then this one stands there, and then really slow. I don't know why. Okay, and we should be coming on a farming level, yeah. Yeah, 79 farming. I can now draw, grow dwarf weed. I'm fairly sure that's a step for the Andron elites, I think. So yeah, that's cool. Okay, so I did some maths, and the I currently have 82 construction banked, which means I no longer need to have miscellaneous collecting it for me. Also, it's been a while, so I thought let's come collect those things. But first, uh, full on herbs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off teaks. Uh, and I'm going to put it on farming, because this is going to get me herb seeds and hop seeds, as well as some other useless seeds, but it'll get me herb seeds and hop seeds. Yep, there we go. Uh, so we've got two torstal seeds, jeez. Uh, Marantil, oh, you get tree seeds as well? Okay. That's a whole lot better than I thought it was. Uh, what do we have? Irit, Lantadime, Haralander, Taramin, uh, Guam. 32 Guam. Two Rana. Okay, the Rana makes it good. Right, so I was about to drop all of the useless seeds that I got. And then I saw these, the strawberry seeds. And I think I'm actually going to keep these. Because if you don't know, baskets of strawberries, when you've got high enough HP, and I definitely have high enough HP, they heal 30 per slot. Right, I don't know how many exactly I got from the... Uh, from the... Uh, from Miscellanea. But this is the amount of seeds that I have now. It takes 40 per run, or I think 20 of these for a run as well. So that's that's two houses there. Yeah, this is quite a lot. This will keep me going for a while. Okay, and sometime soon I should get a fletching level, yeah? Yeah, here we go. 82 fletching. What does that get me? Amethyst arrows. Nice, I would do that if I had the 92 uh, mining to be able to actually mine those. But yeah, one day, one day. To explain why I'm currently uh, fletching you longbows, basically I was looking into it, and as you can see I put in my chat box, I've got two numbers here, 7.5 mil and 4 mil plus. Uh, that's because getting to 82 construction, which is one of the big things I want to do, uh, will cost me 7.5 mil, and to get to 83 um, smithing, which I need to do for my master clue, that will cost me 4, point, uh, 4 mil plus, depending on how many I buy per world, how many people are doing it. So, yeah, um, I need a lot of money, and 
it's better to elk them strung than unstrung. It's about double. I think it might be exactly double. And since bowstrings aren't exactly hard for me to get my hands on, I thought, you know what? Let's uh, let's just string all of these to double the money I get for elking them. Right, I better get this. Uh, there we go. 74 mining. Nice and easy doing some motherload mine while I train thieving on my main. Alright, uh, another quick level, pretty much straight away. This should get me a smithing level, I think. There we go, 76 smithing. Was that Addy Longswords? I don't think I'm ever going to make Addy Longswords. Okay, so I've done myself a bit of crafting, and I've made it so that the total number of every Dragonstone jewelry I have of these three is five. Hang on. Oh, I've got some equipped. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've got five, and I'm now going to go take them all to the um, Fountain of Rune and charge them. Uh, so this, hopefully I don't die. It would be bad if I died. All right, we're good. But just look how beautiful that looks. Oh, uh, all the fully charged jewelry. All right, so I just uh, did that and it's got me 64 golden nuggets. I definitely remember saying before that I wasn't gonna get the top because I could get it from uh, Varrock uh, Elite, but for that I need 85 Herblore, so that's quite a while away and I've been doing a lot of Muzzleload Mine recently, so I'm just gonna buy the top. There we go. Just the boots and the helm to go, so 70 more nuggets and I have completed the Prospector's outfit. For the second time, I think. So yeah, let's get to this. For just a bit of fun, I'm gonna kill Chaos Elemental. And this is because, uh, as you saw in, a, well, as you may have seen quite a few videos back now, I guess, uh, there's a way I can just make it so he can't move and I can just stand there attacking him. So what I've done is, with four items, I've gone for the max slash bonus that I can. Right, well, hopefully he should appear at some point. But yeah, I forgot that he can still hurt you when you're praying magic, so uh, I'm going to need to go bank to get some stuff, because uh, I didn't think about that. But yeah, hopefully hopefully he doesn't kill me. Right, so he hit me onto 5 HP, uh, so I'm going to go grab food. Right, so I really wanted to try and just do barrows to get the chaos runes, but I really want to go do Zora, so I've got 10k, so I'm... About a third of the way there, but I'm now gonna buy the rest. I need to buy about 28,000, I think. So, oh no, only 18,000. So, I'm not sure how much this is gonna cost. Hopefully, not too much. But you saw I had 3.4 something mil at the start, and we'll see how much I have at the end. Right, there we go. There we are. So, it cost me about 2 mil, uh, which I suppose makes sense considering there are about 100 each, and I bought just shy of 20k of them. Yeah, uh, let's go sell these and buy the uh, onyx. Make sure I'm wearing my Karamja gloves though, because I do not want to make that mistake. Okay, I'm fairly sure I only need 260,000, so that is enough. Let's head over to the gem shop guy. Still have this on. Go and buy the onyx. Nice. Let's go make this xenite. I'm not actually quite sure how you do it. Okay, learn something new every day. They still attack you. Uh, if you're not holding a gree -gree, in a gree -gree. Right, let's try this again. Uh, I'm fairly sure all I need to do is use these on this. Yeah? Let's find out. Is it on the wall of flame? Uh, yes. Hey, an uncut zenite. Do I have a teleport? I, of course I don't have a teleport. Right, boost, please don't go, please don't go, please don't go. Yes, okay. Uh, right, got my Zenite ring. Time to enchant this and go do some Zora. Right, so I now have the Ring of Suffering. And I know I probably should go imbue this, but I really want to go try out Zora. And it's quite late and I don't have time to get into the swing of... Uh, Nightmare Zone right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Rings of Recall in it. I'm not going to put too many though, because I know this sounds stupid to say, but I'm not sure whether or not I can um, imbue it if it's got charges in it. So I don't want to put too, all my rings in and then find out I can't do that. So yeah, let's go change onto Lunas and go, go kill some Zora. 
Okay, so I was just about to do Nightmare Zone to uh, imbue my suffering, but I just remembered that I don't have the quest point cape anymore, because uh, they released the Making Friends with My Arm quest, uh, which I probably should do anyway, because it gives you an extra herb patch and teleports to like the Gnome Stronghold. It, it, it's just a good quest to do. Uh, but yeah, I, I wasn't going to do it because I didn't want to do it at the time, but now I guess I kind of have to. So let's go do this quest. Apparently it's only like 40 minutes or so, so not too bad, not too bad. 